you know. Fair fiends fucking up with this game. <laughs> oh, that's a joke, isn't it? No, it's murders. I want to hear this thing about Kanye West. Kanye West's latest rant is mad. Oh, I've just seen it on Twitter. I just What's he done now? Wait, hold on. So Kanye West is having another legendary Twitter rant right now. He's literally tweeted hundreds of times today alone. Um, and a lot of people are talking about it. You know, it's a pretty big subject of discussion right now because obviously Kanye has been known for kind of going off the deep end on Twitter quite a few times. He has a very big history with mental illness and it's very public a lot of the time when he, I guess, suffers from it. And of course, today is one of those days, but I do think that a lot of what he has said today and a lot of the subject matter that he's been tweeting about, I think is actually pretty great for an artist of his magnitude to be coming out and doing. He's getting a lot of backlash right now because a lot of people simply don't really understand what's happening or they don't understand what he's talking about or they think that it's like a, a publicity stunt for some reason. But, you know, Kanye West doesn't really need to, like, have a Twitter rampage to sell a bunch of albums, right? He's one of the biggest artists of all time. You know, he, he literally put a gospel album out and it literally it just hit number one, right? It, it's not like he needs this to sell any of his music or anything. So on his rant, uh, for the most part, it's been about the music industry, which is something that I kind of want to talk oh, about. Oh no, uh, someone's already here. Him quite someone's already here uh, mashing the place up. bathroom with one of his Grammy awards and pissing on it. I'm not necessarily sure I'm allowed to show that on YouTube. I don't really understand the full context of the guidelines or anything. I'm not sure if, if that's going to end up being a problem. I know Dr. Disrespect got hit on Twitch simply for filming in a public bathroom, so you know, you really don't know. But I mean, it's not like the video is hard to find or anything like that. He quite literally tweeted out uh, dozens, if not at this point, hundreds of pages of all of his contracts with Sony and Universal Music Groups. He keeps saying Go on, Emma, take that like punch shot and knock yourself out. Yay, and he's the new Moses and a bunch of other things, which honestly, that's not anything, I guess, new no, see, Emma, just ransacked the place, crazy right? comparisons. Yeah, he literally has a song called I Am A God, so I mean... Yeah. But I think a lot of the, I guess, more over-the-top things that he's said or done are really overshadowing the point that he's making, and I think that that's kind of sad because... In all reality, Kanye West is making very good points about an outdated industry at this point that really does need no, a lot of... No, you don't want to go down there. So Kanye West pissed on his Grammy. He it's bad news. It's bad. Nah, it's bad news down there. To and everything, ...making the claim that he won't release any... Emmy the Animal. ...he's out of his contracts, <laughs> saying that he's basically going to save the music industry from these record labels and whatnot. And I kind of want to just break this point down because, once again, I feel like people take the Listen. video of him pissing on the Grammy and they're like... Yeah, oh go on, God, you I clean up. That's it. Go on, go on. You clean up. Do something like Still this. my you know kills. This is completely out of pocket. Why? Why would this nah. happen? First and foremost, he's been them. known for pushing uh, boundaries for his yeah. whole career. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I woke up this morning expecting to see Kanye West just pissing all over a Grammy award. But I mean, if you had like a multiple choice questionnaire and you know three out of four of them were right, I probably would have picked that choice. You know what I'm saying? That that's gonna happen at some point in his career. Now Kanye's big points against the music industry is that they quote unquote enslave artists by making them agree to ridiculous terms in their contracts that are very hard to get out of. He makes the point that owning the masters to your music is super important and that his are worth oh, an thank astronomical you. amount of money. No, you, you still hit me. True. Thank you. Making the claim that the record companies don't want people to know how much their masters don't are you want that? because if they did, they would be fighting to have them and things like Take that. Take this. He's basically just been shitting all over the music industry. Emma. Honestly, I'm here for that. I'm 100% for that, man. Emma, I feel like a lot of the people the who are on what Kanye West is saying right now, they really yeah, don't this. understand the darkness the of the music industry. Oh, yeah. And I actually have spoken to some pretty high-end musicians, you know, which is weird to say. And they will tell, they've told me firsthand, like, how fucked up the music industry really is. I and know, Have you seen up. any of these contracts or any of these disputes with record labels that artists have had? There's been plenty of public ones. You'll come to realize, like, how messed up the music industry really is and how unfairly it really does treat artists, okay? Now, people make the point that, oh, you know, you don't have to sign that contract. You don't have to sign to a record label. Well, that's not true. In the past, if you weren't signed to a record label, you could not do anything in the music industry. 
period. Thankfully, that's starting to change now that the internet is becoming an actual medium for, you know, independent and small artists to actually push their music out and grow themselves. But even as recent as like 15 years ago, if you weren't signed to a major record label, you, you weren't getting your music promoted, you weren't getting physically put in stores, you weren't getting streams. Streaming music was more of a new concept than anyway. Like, if you weren't signed, you were kind of just blackballed from the industry in a way. And in a very short period of time, we've seen the music industry completely change, right? You know, most people don't buy physical records anymore. They don't buy CDs or, you know, they don't buy a vinyl. I mean, I like to collect vinyls and a lot of other people do. But the vast majority of music now is listened through streaming services. You know, your Apple Musics, your YouTubes, your Spotify's, Google Music, things like that. Which means that, you know... It's not like you have to have a company press out 100,000 copies of your album for you to compete in the music industry. I mean, you can realistically compete at a big level on your own now. And the unfortunate part is a lot of artists don't know this or don't recognize this, and they do get fucking duped in these contracts. I mean, you gotta think about this, right? If you're a 19-year-old rapper, right, and you've seen some success with your music on the internet, right, and you get a you get a meeting with a record oh, label, sure. you're gonna go in there and they're gonna tell you all kinds of shit. They're gonna be all oh, in the in here where the metal is. Will become a superstar. If you run there's a world, few coconuts. There's a, chance, but there's a few mushrooms there. Promotion. There's Constant a mushroom here while I'm standing. Get you in stores. And they'll offer you all this money up front. You know, they'll say, oh yeah, your deal's worth, what, $8 million? Well, in all reality, your deal isn't worth $8 million. A lot of it comes through advances and stuff like that that you're supposed to put towards the music and whatnot. And a lot of contracts are set up that basically if you fuck up and you don't really make that money back, you're actually really in debt to the company. And so they'll take a 19-year-old kid who's just now learning about the world, even though, you know, that's considered an adult, they really don't have the full judgment in their brain really developed or anything like that. And they'll say, hey, here's a huge deal. You know, you're going to be a superstar the moment you sign this. What 19-year-old you know is not signing that deal? Because they trust these big companies. And then these big companies fuck people over. And Kanye has a huge point about masters. If you are an independent artist who owns all the masters to your music and you can make a successful career out of it, you're set. Oh, you're in a much weird. better position than somebody who's signed to a label, you know? And that's kind of what Kanye is trying to do here. He's making a big point about how the music industry is very predatory and how it really does take advantage of people and how they dupe and control artists. You got med I mean, a lot of the times, you know, you, you think yeah, that these artists... There's one down here next behind me as well. Take it, innit? ...making off their streams. First off, music streaming doesn't pay what people M -E -O -K. think it does in the first place, and then a lot of that also has to go to the record oh, label cool. too. Most artists, if they're really making money like that, it's because of tours, it's because of concerts and things like that. They're not making fucking ridiculous amounts of money just because, you know, their song blew up on Spotify. In all reality, they're probably making a lot less than you think from stuff like that. So, Kanye has been on this big rant about the music industry, and honestly, I also have to say fuck the Grammys. I mean, the Grammys <laughs> have been very ridiculous with their selection of music in the last few years. In all reality, it's fuck all these reward sh or award shows. I mean, you, you look at the Grammys and they very clearly will select albums that are more popular because they're popular. They don't select the best piece of the best piece of art. They don't select the best album that actually came out. Most years, when you see something like the best rap album, it's just whatever got played the most or whatever created the most hype or whatever is the safest pick for the committee to make. They don't give a fuck about the best album. Let me go ahead and give you a few examples. The 2019 Grammy went to Cardi B for Invasion of Privacy. You know who she beat? She beat Travis Scott with Astroworld, Pusha T's classic Daytona, Nipsey Hussle's classic Victory Lap, and Mac Fuck, Miller's I'm Swimming, fucked. okay? I In might even be stuck. Macklemore won with The Heist because it was fucking popular because of songs like Thrift Shop. Guess what it, happens it beat? Drake's classic album. Yeah, I've got the bazooka, insane. but the problem, Kanye I had a West's problem with it. Now classic, Yeezus, and one of the greatest rap albums of the century, Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. One of the best, like literally one of the magnum opus albums of this genre in this century was beat by fucking Macklemore because he had that thrift shop song go viral, right? The music industry is a lot shadier than a lot of people think, and in reality, we're talking about billionaire executives running these companies. I see this thing, Cat. I told you this, like this thing that happened with Jason and that. They have the ability to. So when Kanye comes out and pisses That's on insult, a green shirt, that looks extreme, right? No, about the music thing when Jason sulked about that like, he didn't get his music through. Yeah, that's that's that was his fault, man. Nothing to do with not, nothing to do with no one else. You know what I'm saying? He's a certified billionaire, okay? 
he can win an award okay, essentially whenever he wants that because that's how big that he is. No, I'm, I'm good. Well, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just survived. He just got beat out by uh, the heist. To be fair, I think Kendrick probably should have won with Good Kid, Mad City. However, you know that that's what we're talking about here. What the fuck is a Grammy to him? To most artists, yeah, that's a career peak. But when Kanye West comes out and makes a point like this, he's called crazy. He's told that he's insane. Which yeah, he does suffer from mental illness. It's very apparent. But to use that to discredit his point is absolutely fucking ridiculous. To pretend like the music industry has these artists' best interests in mind is ridiculous. And when it comes down to it, yeah, maybe he's not doing this all by the best means. I mean, he leaked the phone number to, I believe, a Forbes editor or something like that and called him a white supremacist. He's been calling out prolific names in the industry for days on Twitter now and things like that. Maybe, to us, this doesn't look like the best way, right? Personally, I probably wouldn't piss on a Grammy on video and put it on Twitter.com or breach the, what I would assume to be non-disclosure agreement of my contract, I would think that they'd have one of those, by literally uploading every single page of my contracts to Twitter for the whole world to see. However, I'm also not billionaire Kanye West, who has the ability to actually influence things like this. And I know that it seems crazy that he's doing something like this, and of course, you can make the argument that his mental illness is probably playing into this a little bit by the way that he's acting, however, to pretend like he doesn't have a point and like he doesn't actually, you know, see an issue that he wants to help out with just because he's mentally ill is pretty fucking dumb. In all reality, Kanye West is right. The music industry is very predatory. It takes advantage of people. Why do you think so many rappers want out of their deals? You know, halfway through. They'll put a, they'll put two albums in out of a five album deal and they're on Twitter talking about they want out of their deal and they're not putting out music until and it's not just <laughs> music that this affects I mean we've seen globally how the music industry treats people I mean K-pop has gotten notorious for how fucking harsh their contracts are to the point that they have to maintain strict regiments that harm their bodies and things like that to keep up their prolific images and things like that the music industry isn't just you know oh an artist has creative control no a lot of the time fucking touch it some of the music they want because the record label doesn't think it'll sell or they should use that promote, that's what you should use too messed up something like that it's not like we're talking about art really being art here we're talking about money oh, that's a tactical machine gun. taken advantage of and even if yeah kanye is making people think that he's even crazier right now he does have a real point that i think people need to take a look at so you know, every time this happens, people make fun of him. I, I get why people do to a certain extent, because, Listen, you know, it's definitely odd to the average person. Yeah. Somebody would I've got something for you, though. I, I just find it oh, you just moved. Oh, oh, shit. Society, I'll tell you right, you. You know, oh, or, like, my lord. But then Look at that, I was hooking her up, you know, and she's Twitter. like... He's basically she sidestepped. She sidestepped the hell. Even if he has a fair fucking point, you know no, what I'm, I'm saying? Even, so, I guess I the moral of the video it, is, but... even if he is doing something oh, maybe outside of your comfort oh, zone, yeah. maybe try to... What's happened? She needs to go. <laughs> oh, was it? Are oh, you going to bed? No, 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 I'm going out. Oh, okay. Okay, have a safe night out, though. Be careful. Well, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to ten, so maybe tomorrow. She's gonna sneak in a sneaky session tomorrow, she says. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> have fun. Alright, have a good okay, night. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye bye. Right, you, bye bye. Oh, that's a shame. We mm -mm. oui, oui, sir. Uh. Oh, you'll miss her, man. Always. Hmm. You will not be forgotten, soldier. <laughs> Why is my page stuck on the loading fucking loading page? Couldn't tell you. This game's a piece of shit. I'll account for it. Right. Oh, we need to move forward. Let's go. Oh, spat, sorry. Whoa. Well, <gasps> We'll try and win for him. We'll win for Emma. There you go, guys. Come here. I'll give you a chug splash each. Huh? He can't hear us. How He's can he hear us? Huh? No, he can't. I'm oh. Just... <laughs> oh my nose. 
feels like I've been raped up the nose hollier. Whoa. Look over, <laughs> over there, over there, over there. Yeah, I know, I'm staying well away. Last people in here as well. Look, look, look. He's off on his own, mate. He's going to get killed. You see, look. People shooting. There's people here. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. Oh, there was another one. I wiped out one team and then another team. Another team come. Look at them. Like damn vultures. Are you right, Jay? Jay? Okay. Let's go back to the lobby. Go on. Let's do squad. Do I not squad? I didn't realise she was still in the, <laughs> still in the thing. Yeah. I was gonna say nice big body, Nigel. No, nice big body. Nice big body. She has a fantastic body. See, my dinner should be here. Oh, oh some guy just messaged me. Oh. Hold on. I smashed that dude with gold yesterday, and he did the same thing. Hmm. No, I put up the street fight lobby thing. Hold on, hold on. And I was playing Street Fighter earlier today, innit? And this guy jumped out of my lobby like multiple times. But someone's commented on my channel. Five more ammo boxes and then I've done. Five? So you can go. Nice catty corner. Thing. Catty corner normally has five. There's yeah. three in the mountain and then there's two in the shop, in the petrol station. I need to get three more supply drops. But I know that's going to happen. Three supply okay. drops? How can you get three? What is that for punch cards? Yeah. yeah but you've got three months to do that. I know, but that means I can level up some more. Uh, well, I've gone up. I've gone up two levels on you again. That's what I'm saying. I wanna. Because you're not doing. Because you're not doing. You're you're taking the long route. How to level up? That's why. No, if you no. think you are, because if you think about what if you think about what you're planning, yeah, then you ain't leveling nothing. No, but what I'm what I'm doing is I'm been opening all the ammo boxes and. Eating all the food and... No, the no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. You just said a minute ago that you're trying to go for the supply drop so you can get the 15k. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool if you're going to do that, but just do it in its own time. That's why I don't care about the punch cards. Because if I went and sat... If I sat down and said to myself, all right, I'm going to go through this game and do all the punch cards, then you might as well just play it on your own and do that. There's no point playing it with a team because how can you tell these two, let's say we were playing in the squads and you needed to get a drop. Now, how are you going to tell the other two that you want the drop for, for a punch card? Uh, one of them might need to pick it up. No, but one of them might need to pick it up themselves, yeah? That's what I'm saying to you. If you're going to do that, you might as well play solo because when you play solo, there's more things out there for you to get. Yeah, true. So I'm not like, don't you think it like I'm having a gut, yeah? I'm just saying. When you're doing them things, I just oh, got home. Away from that one. What's I that? Think. I just got home this morning. I've just been catching up on challenges and stuff. Oh. Alison. Oh, yeah. She messaged me. I not it yet. Look, she stayed at Ed's. Yeah, she was at Ed's, yeah. That makes no sense why people will leave, it still counts as a loss. I've gone to Katikona. 
the top of the cake for me. Oh, how did you jump out before me? Now, Bob. Here, I ain't even landed yet. Hold on, where are we going? Hold on, where are you? No! I can't even see. Are oh, you at Katie Corner? Oh, I'm trying to see if I can get over there. Purple AR, well, boy. I don't know if I'm going to have to land on the mountain, you know, I'm going to have a bit of a trouble getting there. I'm just praying to God I can land somewhere so I can get you. So long as the thing's going down quicker, I'm at 300 metres, that's better. Mm, 200 odd. 100 odd, no, not that far. But I do need to get... See, look, I've got on my back. I've got MS Cube, mate. Got the Transformers, the movie. Where is the cube? Oh, look, 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 look. They're taking the chopper. That's even better. That means they've dust. Right, where are you? Um, second floor. In the hallway. Someone's there. Like, bitch that killed me. Fucking joke. Someone's standing there. I saw it was too late. I was like, what's he standing there? Oh, Ali wants to play. Alice wants to join. Mm. Come and go lobby in it. But is she going to bring Ed and all that? Why? Because he, why? Because he's. I don't know, man. Oh, if this guy comes in and there's some kind of fuck up vibe, I'm going, I'm jumping off, you know. Everyone, I don't know, but everyone's got this kind of vibe when you put it on Fortnite, man. It's kind of dead. Is TikTok going to survive? Oh, shit. My dinner will be in 15 minutes. That's my nose. It sounds all bad, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounded like a trumpet. Oh man! Whoa! Uh, it's a bit wild. No, man. I ain't even started yet, and you're like, already giving up. Yeah. Why? Because I was ill last year for my birthday, and I'm ill again this year. I tell you what you should do next year, yeah. Stay away from, stay away from everyone. Say so lock yourself down on your birth on your birthday, like September. Just lock the place down, everything. Don't have nobody, no boyfriend, no nothing. Just play <laughs> Xbox, and just say, look, I'm staying in quarantine for thirty days so I can have, celebrate my birthday. Yeah, last year Joe proposed, but I saw a fucking cold. 
Oh. See, even Dell, even Dell was like, oh. so I'm a few days late on this <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Is God. You? Sorry. No, so I don't apologize. I'm literally sitting here like, take my nose, take my nose, take my nose, 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 nose. I'm not going to get hurt if I take your nose. But I'll break your nose bone. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm? Can you? I can smell a little bit. Then that's okay. good news. I can smell. Yeah. Well, that's good if my smell is starting to come back. It means yours will too. I smell puppy. Oh. Well, I can smell. I can smell just about smell the um the fix. Oh my ears, I gone. What are you doing? For fuck's sake, woman. Hmm? So I'm here. Basically called Oracle, no, the she says she's got a trusted mic technology partner, loading. which we don't really know what that means for sure. Mm -hmm. Since it's unlikely to be an outright sale, it's pretty likely that basically Oracle will probably handle a lot of the data, if not all of the data, especially for the United States operations. That way it's not being stored overseas. And like I said, it's possible that they actually store all of the data for TikTok, all user data outside of China, which, I mean, I think would probably be maybe a little bit better because then obviously the CCP wouldn't, you know, be able to just kind of barge in at least as easily. So the whole subject has been pretty confusing, though, because it's not an outright sale. You got to remember that, at least from what it's being kind of, I guess, told, it's not an outright sale, which is kind of what the Trump administration was pushing for, right? Donald Trump basically said that they had to be sold, which means that, you know, they pass over all the operations and whatnot, probably to a U.S. company or whatever. And since it doesn't necessarily seem that that's going to be the case, there's a lot of questioning about whether or not the Trump administration is going to approve of the deal, because the Trump administration has kind of wedged themselves into the middle of this whole thing to where it's basically like... They they have to sign off on it. And on top of that, the Chinese government has also wedged themselves on the other side of it. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you guys know this, but in order for this whole thing to even go through, basically TikTok was not allowed to sell or bring over the operation of their algorithm, their content algorithm, in the deal. That was basically off limits. If that was to happen, Beijing was going to completely reject even trying this deal. So they had to kind of work around a lot of different things, which I think is oh why my. this is being called a trusted technology partnership or whatever. Do, 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 so do, do, since it's not an outright sale, there's a little bit of questioning on whether or not the Trump administration is going to approve of it. And if they don't approve of it, there's not really much time for TikTok to make even more of a deal really with Oracle. I'm pretty sure the executive order said that it had to be sold or transferred or whatever by September 20th, meaning that as of me uploading this video, they really only have three full days before that whole thing actually happens. So, you know, it's going to be confusing if the Trump administration doesn't approve this because it's going to mean that TikTok basically is back against the wall fighting for U.S. survival. Now, the whole deal, even though it's not an outright sale or whatever, is expected mm -mm. to have some sort of cash and stock Kicked effect. Kicked the bottom out. Basically, uh, it's pretty mean. much expected at this out. point that Oracle will be taking a stake in the company ByteDance because of this. Now, ByteDance, they're the founders, creators, or whatever of TikTok. They own it. And yeah, so, um... 
Yeah, so when Del was gone, Lucy was outside and I asked her, like, are you okay in that? And she said, come in the car because I just want to talk to you briefly in it before I go. And she said, like, I also want to thank you for, like, sticking up for me. And next week I'm just planning to go back to Australia for, I'm going to go back to Australia for six months and take a break. And I was like, shit, like, you're just going to get up and leave and, like, say nothing. Hold on. It's there. The mic is showing. It's just not showing on. Get a PS4, Alison. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking lame. I can hear you. I'll just leave. She does have to mark on. And that's just shit. Only seems to work on Xbox chat. Have you gone into Xbox chat and hey, why audio? Don't ask her. Tell her to go into party chat with you two. You two party chat and play and I'll just play. Don't worry. Go on. Why, or why don't you come into party chat with us? As well? How can I? I'm on the PS4. Go on. You can chat with her. It's fine. You just miss my voice, doesn't it? No, because there's no point. We might as well talk together, isn't it? You sound upset. I was yawning. No, no, he's yawning, but he sounded like he was about to cry. I'm joking. He did yawning, that sound. This was. Uh, <laughs> then I'll work it out. I'll reload again after this one. Okay. Unless you've gone to. If you go to audio. I sent her. Like I sent her that thing how you're meant to do it, innit? You're meant to turn it to one thing opposite, apply it. And then turn it back and reapply it. <gasps> I might have to stop. Well, not stop, but I need to go downstairs in a minute. Oh. My dinner's going to be here. Look. So, yeah, as I was saying, like, yeah, so. Yeah, she says that she's going to go away for a bit. I'm gutted. Mm. Why are you gutted? No, because I feel I feel gutted because how the others have treated her. So she just feels like she's got no friends and no support, and it's un and it's very selfish, and it's very unfair. It's very it's not fair that you should be looking out for me. Well, that's what she said. Yeah, she said it's unfair because there's like twelve other people who were considered as friends, and they all turned a blind eye when I was in a very dark place. So then she's like, she said that she's sorry. I know how you feel. What Nally did, she wasn't very nice either. I understand. I mean, I don't wish that. I don't wish that kind of stuff for anyone, man. I said to her, like, I'm not going to ask her, innit? I just said, look, I'm not going to push the issue of whatever happened with you and whoever you were seen. But one day, I hope you open up and say who it was, innit? Because I'm not going to probe you and sit down with you and beg with you to know what the fuck. But someone obviously upset you for you to do the things you're doing and she just wouldn't say nothing. So obviously, it's someone I know. And I said sooner or later, like someone's gonna know what happened, and yeah, no, but sooner or later, listen, it's someone, it's it's one of nine people that I know who've done something to her. It's obvious. One of the guys, she was seeing one of the guys, and something broke down between them, or someone took, or so, or one of them took advantage of her, or done something. Because her mum's sitting there blaming a pack of people, yeah, for all kinds of shit. Or oh, someone gave her drugs and done this. And I'm, what? Like, I wasn't here. Why would I do that? 
a lot of things that go on your name's always mentioned my name wait wait hold on a minute what are you talking about uh, no but that's what her mum said and then she had to explain to her mum like Michael didn't do anything Michael wasn't even there she said oh when I go clubs and that sometimes Michael comes and he, just, he doesn't even do anything he comes and just stays so I'm okay and then the mum apologised didn't it I was like yeah I understand and she was like you have to see it from my point of view I was like yeah I understand that but you have to see it from my point of view I said to you I had no involvement in anything that's what I meant oh look at that someone fell down the lighthouse uh, it landed right in front landed on the floor huh someone not in our team I got three of them down, you know. Hey, look at this. Well, I killed all four of them. <laughs> killed them all. Sorry, bloody hell. Mm. I just had to get up and check that my phone is connected into the fucking fingers. phone BT actually shit I need to do that tomorrow okay. uh, not happy hmm but okay no nah, I'm not happy 68 pound a month man no nah, fuck that I just chuck my money down the drain
was clever. Can you hear her? Who? Alison. No. Well, I can't. I was going to say, I can't hear her. machine gun. It would benefit if I had more metal. I ain't got really much metal at the moment. Well, no upgrade machine, is there? Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if I was going anywhere now... Kicking me out of games. Oh. Say so network connection lost. Oh. <sighs> Shit, He's the rift is coming. Who? He's kicking her out of the game, so she's in the party. Oh no, she's not. No. Why? Hello? Hello. No, I haven't fallen asleep. Why? What happened? Just made a funny noise. No. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Hey, look, there's a chest here if you need one. I'm good, I got it. I got it. Did it. Steak in the fleshly swim. Yeah. 
What if it's sweaty sands? I don't know. Matt would know. If you ask Matt, he would know straight away where he is. I ain't got a clue. That's why I don't go sweaty sands. <laughs> I stick to what I know. I'm hiding. Where your panties don't hide. <laughs> this guy is upstairs hiding. I'm in the water. We're doing the water. You're gonna end up all muffled up and clothed and and wet, and you won't be able to run, mate. in the storm begging the tide will come man will die in the storm cat will go on and win the game four to one odds on favorite the new weapon comes out and it's called cat's claw <laughs> Michael. Hello? Hello. Yeah. Right. Oh shit, there's people behind me. Right, they're behind me all this time, yeah? Listen, 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 listen. Don't go. I want your stuff. I want your stuff and your friend's stuff. That's right. I feel sorry for you. I've had a nice time. Huh. Good goodbye. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh, 
Whoa. Whoa. Shit, 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 shit. Hello? Hello. I just got in. Oh, fuck. That's alright, it's been a second.